So you've installed Ubuntu Linux in Hyper-V. Great choice if you want to try Linux, learn the terminal, or maybe just run some Linux software. Hyper-V is a great hypervisor built into Windows if you have the Pro version, and it works really well with Windows operating systems, Windows guests. Uh, everything just tends to work out of the box, but you may find that when you try to do something like a Linux distribution in Hyper-V, stuff may not just work out of the box because it's not a Microsoft product, which Microsoft was, I mean, Microsoft designed it to work with other stuff, but it's definitely optimized for Windows operating systems. And I found that when I did this, I mean, it works completely fine. And you can say I have it running in windowed mode right now, but maybe I want it to run in full screen. Well, that's just hideous, so let's go ahead. I went to settings, I went to displays, and found, to my horror, that I could not change my resolution. And the world ended and the sun never came up. Actually, no, it didn't because I solved it. Uh, but I found I'm like, wait, this is weird. If you were this is where if you were running Linux on real hardware or maybe a different hypervisor such as VirtualBox or VMware, you'd just be able to change it here. But as you know, if you've ever used Hyper-V, it kind of likes to just take control over everything, and that includes the video settings. So I was not able to do that. Um, but if I go to my other Linux virtual machine. You can see I have it running in perfect resolution. This is the same resolution as my display, uh, correct aspect ratio, and I even have scaling settings like you would see on a regular computer running Ubuntu. So how did I fix it? What did I do? Well, that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you. So go ahead, I'm actually going to open up my Hyper-V Manager. I uh, want this open for something we're going to do in a second here. And then what we need to do is go to our virtual machine. I'm just going to run it in windowed mode for now, actually. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to be running some commands today. It wouldn't be a proper Linux video if there were no terminal commands. So go ahead, open the terminal. I have it pinned to my favorites, but it might be inside of your apps here. Go ahead, open up the terminal, and then I am going to start by running the command sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub now it is going to ask for elevation so go ahead and type your password here and we are going to modify this grub file that it just opened so go ahead and use the arrow keys you don't need the mouse at all for this just use the arrow keys to navigate down now don't get don't get scared by this it may look intimidating but what we're going to be doing is super easy just follow along do my steps and everything is going to be completely fine so go down to this line that i met here grub command line linux default and then we're going to navigate over and this is the line that we need to modify so go ahead start by uh, removing that quotation mark from splash and uh, what we actually need it to say is we need to add video equals hyper v underscore facebook just kidding it's just underscore fb then type a colon now this is where we're going to pause just Put everything down for a second. Just chill. Take a take a popcorn break if you need to. Um, I don't know why that was the snack of my choosing. Um, go ahead. Uh, what we actually need to do is check something on our physical Windows machine. So we need to go ahead and open up our settings. So just go ahead, right-click Start, and click Settings. And we need to go to the System tab. And then the first thing that comes up is Display. And here uh, is where you will need to decide which display are you actually going to be running this Linux virtual machine on. I want it running on my um, main display, which is the display one, which is selected. But if you're not sure, um, go ahead and look at be looking at the display that you want to run it on. Click identify. In my case, I see this is number one. So make sure that number one is selected or whatever number you want to be running it on is selected for you. Go ahead, scroll down just a bit till you see display resolution. And you need to go ahead and take a look at what resolution you're at. Now, I'm assuming that you already have it at the resolution that you want. Um, if not, you can change it. Generally, the highest one is recommended. Um, but I can see here, in my case, it is 3456 by 2160. Go ahead, take these numbers, write them down. Make sure um, you just have them, put them in a notepad document, whatever. Go back to your Linux VM 
and right after the colon, remember we are using our arrow keys, so after colon, this is where we need to type our resolution. So in my case, it is 3456 by, so do X, 2160. Now you could, if you might be doing 1920 by 1080, or you might even have a higher resolution display, but remember it's just whatever those numbers said in Windows settings. That's the display that, uh, that's the resolution that we want our VM to be running at. So then go ahead, uh, finish that line off with some quote with the quote. And now we need to save the changes we made to this grub file. So go ahead and press control O and press enter. So now we have saved that. Conf we've saved the configuration changes we made to this grub file. So go ahead and press control X now. So we've exited that file and we're still in the command line. Um, you can even clear it out if you want to, but we do need to run a couple more commands before we continue. So go ahead and do sudo update grub. So we're just updating that the, we've made those changes. And now what we need to do is go ahead and run sudo apt install Linux image extra virtual. So go ahead, I'll give you guys a second. Feel free to pause the video if you need to, but these commands will all be in the description if you want to copy them. So go ahead, just type that right there and we're going to enter. And now it is going to ask us if we want to continue. If you did close the terminal after modifying the grub file and then reopened it, it will ask you to put in your password again to uh, make sure that you granted the elevated privileges. Now it's going to ask, do you want to continue? Just type the letter Y and then press enter. And this may take a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is and what resources you have allocated your virtual machine. I, my, I gave it uh, six virtual processors and eight gigs of RAM and uh, my processor is already pretty fast. So this is actually not going to take long at all, but depending on um, the computer that you have and the resources you've allocated, this may take a few minutes. So just be patient, let it do its thing. And now we are back to, it says done and we are back to our command line. So we're actually done in this VM for now. Now we just need to make sure we fully shut it off. So I'm just going to type shut down now enter and it is going to turn off this virtual machine so go ahead we can x that out and now we need to run a powershell command on our windows machine so go ahead open up powershell just you know open start search for powershell run it as an administrator and we will go ahead and type the command. This one's a little longer, set VM video, and just make sure you know uh, you type it exactly as, or type or copy and paste it exactly as I do here. And so we've set uh, VM video, and now we need VM name. And this is where, um, oops, VM name. and vm name i cannot type today apparently um this is where you want to pause again for a second here go back to your hyper v manager and see what the name of your virtual machine is now i would suggest if it's one that i had like these that's multiple words just to simplify everything make it as quick and easy as possible just right click it click rename and just make it a single word lowercase nothing no fancy special characters we could change all this back after this is only temporary just change it to something simple like i have here lowercase you know cat uh lowercase one word just simplify things make it quick and easy and so make sure you go ahead and you know what the name is so that's why i'm gonna have it open um going back to our powershell window here so vm name space and then go ahead and type the vm name exactly as it appears right over here and if you type it wrong it'll just give you an error uh, it's not going to do anything um so now i have typed in the name and then we need to go to horizontal no, again i don't know why for some reason i can't type horizontal resolution and colon there 
and now we need to type the same thing. So remember, this is the same thing as before. We're just typing in these numbers for our display resolution. So mine is 3456 by 2160, so 3456. And then we are going to space and then go vertical resolution, colon 2160. And then we need to finish it off with resolution type single, like me on every Valentine's Day. Go ahead and press enter. And that is it for PowerShell. So we will now we can get rid of that. Go back to our, oops, that's the virtual machine. That's the good virtual machine that I had open. Go back to your Hyper-V manager. And I think you'll find something special when you go to open it up again. Oops. Go ahead, open it back up. Start. And we'll give it a second. And we will go to full screen. And you can see now, even in the boot process, before we even get into the operating system itself, it is running at the proper display resolution. And look at that. It's that easy. I know it may, you know, it may look a little complicated, like it's a lot of small steps, but if you follow them exactly, it's super easy. And now we are going to be brought to our desktop environment and go ahead, feel free to move that uh, home folder. It's going to be in the same place that it was if you had the uh, old resolution. So now um, you may find that if you have a high resolution display like me, you find that this is the scaling is really small. We can change that, no worries. Now that we go back to display, you can see now 3456 by 2160 at 16 by 10 aspect ratio. This is exactly what we want. This is the resolution that we want our VM to be running at. See, it just took a little command magic. Not that hard, right? And then I'm gonna change my scaling to 200%. You could put it even bigger if you want or you can keep it at the other one, that's completely fine. But now you can see we are at the proper resolution and we are we have scaling options so now everything is running as intended in this virtual machine and that's about it guys that's really all you have to do to change your display resolution inside of your ubuntu linux virtual machine on hyper v so hopefully this guy hopefully this helped you uh, if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below um, I did get a lot of the information, in fact, most of my information for this video from an article or for a, a, on a forum. I'm going to make sure I link that in the description because uh, they're the ones that have all the credit for this. I just put it all together in a nice, easy to follow tutorial. Um, so I'll make sure to give them the proper credit they deserve inside of the description below. So make sure to check out that forum and upvote the post. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was able to help you out. Have a good rest of your day.